new at five. Take a look at the surveillance video. A driver slams into three cars parked in front of a repair shop in Denver, never even breaking. Seven News reporter Lance Hernandez looking into what happened. And Lance, to make matters worse, she found the driver doesn't have insurance. And the drivers of the or the owners of those cars that were hit can only shake their heads in disbelief. Now, they drove them here yesterday and parked on East Colfax right there behind me so that they could be worked on today. They learned this morning that their cars are no longer drivable. So you imagine that nightmare of calling the customer. David Hotchkiss had to make three phone calls this morning to customers who brought their cars in for engine repair. And instead, you got to tell them that their car has been not just wrecked, but but total. He showed a security video of the crash. You see a Honda Odyssey slamming into a parked Durango, which slammed into a Grand Cherokee, which slammed into a Taurus. That car had to be traveling 40, 45 miles an hour. And, and if you looked at it, there was no brakes involved at all. It didn't even look like it even, you know, the front end dip or nothing. We found the Honda's front license plate embedded in the back of the Durango. Police tell 7 News it doesn't appear to be a DUI. The accident report obtained by 7 News says the driver, Jesus Gutierrez Gaitan, told officers he was tired from wrestling all day and fell asleep at the wheel. Police cited him with careless driving and no proof of insurance. It just bothers me, and I'm sure it bothers a lot of people who's had the same thing happen. Police tell 7 News accidents involving uninsured drivers are becoming more frequent. Hotchkiss says he was hit by an uninsured motorist two weeks ago. While test driving a customer's car, he says the other driver took off. He tried to follow. I'm trying to dial 911. I get a hold and they tell me to pull over and stop immediately. I go, wait, you don't understand. If I stop, you're never going to get this guy. There's no license plate. And Mr. Hotchkiss told me, he said, it's a big problem. People driving without insurance. He says it's something that he hopes Colorado lawmakers address this session. On East Colfax in Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News. Thanks, Lance. And we first learned about the story from a 7 News viewer. If you have a story idea, log on to the denverchannel.com to send us a tip or call us at 303-832-7777.